Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, or go by Always More Sims here on YouTube. And today we are doing a the second current household for um, June. So, um, I I had my wisdom teeth pulled. Uh, for me, it was only two days ago. <laughs> so um, I'm not doing too bad, but I my face I look like a chipmunk. Um, I'm very swollen. <laughs> And it is a little painful, but I figured since this was just a current household, I wouldn't be talking for too absolutely long. I figured I could go ahead and record this. Besides, I've been playing a lot um, because I've had nothing else to do. So, yeah, uh, I guess we'll just kind of just go ahead and get into this. So, um, the house is this one right here. Uh, it's called Cornflower. I don't know what the C and D stands for. I don't know what the C is. Uh, I don't know, but it is a five bedroom, four bath, four or five bath house. So, and this sim right here is actually the husband. However, I changed their last name. Uh, their last name is now Geller instead of Bookman. Um, so yeah this is this is the dad this is the husband um his name is still brody though so if you wanted to download him uh night lioness is the creator so i guess we will go ahead and jump right in so this sim right here the lovely lady in yellow who is heavily pregnant she is the sim that um raya I'm sorry. I'm, yes. Um, that Raya was pregnant with in the last current household. This is her. Her name is Waverly. Uh, she is freshly an adult. She is childish, a vegetarian, and a loner. And she has the outdoor enthusiast. I have never been to Grand Falls with like my current household, so... It's not really, yeah, it's, I, I have done, like, nothing with this. Um, but she is in a gardening career. We have quite the little garden out back. Um, so she still, like, does stuff that would, that could possibly explain this, but doesn't really do much. So, yeah, anyways, she's, again, heavily pregnant with the heir. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. You guys will know once I know. Um, and yeah, so right beside her, this is Brody. Again, I just showed you him, um, on the gallery. So Brody had, um, I install, I downloaded him like this. I didn't actually realize he had all these, um, these things. I forget what you call them. I don't know, rewards. He has all these reward traits. And he also has a crap ton of skills, okay? He has so many skills. The only skills that he has developed while I've played with him is cooking. Um, and he had, like, level 3 of the writing skills, so that's gone up a little bit. But everything else he came with. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think this is, I think this actually might be, like, every possible skill there is. So, there are some of these I haven't even messed with. Like, I haven't done anything with vampire lore, Salvador, uh, Salvadoradian culture, rock climbing, pipe organ. Like, there's some skills in here. I had, I didn't even know juice fizzing was a thing. <laughs> like, yeah. So, his real traits, though, are hot-headed, romantic, and bookworm. Uh, he has the best-selling author aspiration he is a freelance writer just because i think it's that one's actually a little more fun than just the regular writer aspiration and he is a ginger so we have had quite a few ginger children i kind of want the air to be a ginger i'm crossing my fingers for a ginger air uh, but we will see um so then we have uh this is one of the oldest so our firstborns were actually twins and this is his sister so this is Eason. Um, Eason is a perfectionist and vegetarian. 
Yes, that is supposed to say Ethan, not Easton. I wanted Ethan, even though saying it out loud, it sounds kind of ridiculous. Um, he also has the Master Mixologist aspiration. Uh, he's a teenager. Don't really know what else to say. Um, and then this is his twin sister. This is Eris. Um, she's a dog lover and adventurous, and she has a girlfriend, Soraya, but Soraya, like, just aged up into a young adult, so I can't really do much. Um, but yeah, she does have a girlfriend, so that's why she's all flirty and happy and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't, she has the animal, or friend of the animals aspiration, also a high school student. Don't really know what else to say. Then we have, this is their third born. This is Lawson. Lawson is squeamish. That's quite the look. He's got some pretty wide eyes there. Um, he's got the whiz kid aspiration. I don't know, B student. I don't wanna know what else to say. Then we have Aspen. Aspen just aged up into a child earlier today, actually. So she is a freshly a child. She has the loner aspiration and the rambunctious, or no, aspiration, loner trait and rambunctious scamp aspiration. Um, there's a frying pan on the floor. And then this, as of right now, this is our youngest. This is Chelsea. Uh, she has the silly trait, no aspiration, don't know what else to say. Uh, but yeah, that's, she's, she's the current youngest and then they're having one more. They cannot have twins because our household is full, so they're having one more child, um, and I don't know if it'll be a girl or a boy, but I know, I already have my, like, the name picked out for a boy or if it's a girl. I already know what the name's gonna be, but I will not say. Uh, and yeah, so we had a cat that passed away, like, two or three Sims days ago. This was, his, um, his name was Sneaker, um... But not because, like, he was, like, stealthy. Just, I literally named him Sneaker after, like, sneakers, like, shoes. Yeah, his name was Sneakers. Sneaker. He was a white cat. Uh, that's why there's, like, food bowls and litter boxes and stuff like that everywhere. Um, and I think that's really about it for the household. And then we have the family tree. Prepare yourselves. Got kind of crazy. Oh, I never changed. Oh, dang it. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, did I? No, I did. Never mind, I did fix. Okay. So, family tree kind of blew up. Um, Raya and Azalea ended up having, uh, they got pregnant again, even though I turned, I turned off, like, I had it to where they could not have babies, like, with the, the neighborhood story progression stuff, and they would call me and be like, we were thinking about trying for a baby, and I'd say, no, you shouldn't do that. Next thing I know, um, they're inviting me over, hey, you should come meet that baby, and they actually had twins. They had Lorena and Lyle, who are children, and I have no idea where these two live because both of um, Waverly's parents have died. So, yeah. Um, okay, so the Lakin married a guy named Avi, and together they had five kids. They had Dalton, Bennett, Fallon, Kai, and Merrick. And then Waverly's twin sisters, so Catalina married Ivy and had Bridget and Declan. Karina married Aaliyah, and they had Whitney, Alyssa, Branson, Jameson, Aria, and Anders, and these two are twins. There's a lot- the twins have become very prominent in this family. There is at least one set born every generation. <laughs> and then there's Waverly with our five. So, I think that's really about it for now. Um, I also think I'm bleeding. <laughs> This is the most I've really talked, so um, I should not have done this. I should have held off, because, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding. I taste blood in my mouth, but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> so, um, for you guys, I will be back in a couple seconds with the next generation. For me, I don't know when I will be back. We will see. Hey, guys. Welcome back to um, more of my current household for the uh, second current household video of June. So, um, I have a squirmy puppy in my lap. I don't know if you can, you can probably hear her. This is Noble. I have two, uh, shepherd mix foster pups right now named Barnes and Noble. Um, I'm very proud of the names. 
Um, okay, I just put Noble down, so she's gonna go hopefully attack her sister and keep each other um, entertained. Anyways, so this video is supposed to actually go up later tonight. We're not. I'm gonna. I, it's gonna go up. I just don't know if it'll be on time. So I apologize if you're seeing this video on uh, June 24th and it's uh, not going up at its normal time. But anyways, yeah, we have the second part of it. So this house feels so familiar to me. And I don't know. Part of me feels like at one point I tried to live in this house um, with my I'm a lover challenge and then like moved out. I don't know. Or, like, if this was the house I placed on that rental lot, then it just didn't work. I don't know. But this house feels really familiar to me. <coughs> Sorry. So, yeah. We're in Henford on Bagley. Um, I have puppies <laughs> wrestling behind me. And, yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Okay, so. Um, if you watched my week of WoW for werewolves... I, I told you guys that there was, it was, there was a very good chance that I was going to have a sim with a lot of scars. And I gave my sim a lot of scars. So this is the sim that Waverly was pregnant with in the, like, at the beginning of this video. Um, yes, this is her. Um, so this is Marilia. Uh, she is kind of edgy, kind of a bed. Uh, Hey, what are you doing? I bet they're trying to chew on my purse. No? no? Now we're wrestling again. Okay. Um, I don't know. She's just, she's kind of edgy. Um, she does not look anything. Like, she and her wife have, have very different styles. Like, she's got the tattoos. And she's got these, like, super epic boots. And she's got tattoos on her back. And, like, half of her head shaved. And, like, ear gauges. And, like, nose piercings. And she's got the lip. She's got a lip scar. And then she's got this scar on the side of her face and then she's got one across her her stomach um and i'm just kind of going with her mom was a gardener and had like all of this gardening stuff in the back and i'm just going with the theory that uh marilia got a little too comfortable by herself out in mom's garden and um just she's i should have she should have the clumsy trait because that would make this make more sense but she just basically like, she was trying to, like, I don't know, you don't actually end up, sh like, having to trim bushes or anything. But, you know, she wanted to, she went to, like, trim off, like, something and then uh, fell and, like, landed on, like, a shovel or something like that. And it just kind of tore her up. But she embraces it. She rocks the look. Like, I think she actually looks really cool. Um, her makeup does not match her shirt. And <laughs> at least I gave her makeup. I don't normally give my sims makeup. Yeah, so that's Marilia. Um, Marilia and her wife. Well, actually, this is her fiance. They aren't actually married yet. So they're both really young. Um, it was one of those things that, like, I actually had. So Marilia got pregnant with the. So these are twins. We had twins. Marilia got pregnant the first time around. And so then I went into cast and I, like, switched it so that. Next time one of them got pregnant, it'd be her wife, um, Colette, and, like, I kid you not, pretty, like, the day that, um, Marilia gave birth, Colette got pregnant because they had Risky Woohoo turned on, um, so Marilia had, like, she had her aging, um, paused because she was pregnant, and I forgot to do the, like, pregnant, like, age while pregnant, um, so, like, again, she is, like, she was maybe only a young adult for, like, a day before she got pregnant with the twins. And then the day the twins were born, um, Colette got pregnant and now is going to have, this is our heir. We're only having, I only wanted to have two kids, but then we had twins, so we're only going to have three kids. Um, so, yeah, Marilia is romantic, evil, and lactose intolerant. Uh, then she has the painter extraordinaire aspiration just because I haven't done anything with painting in a while um, So there's an easel like she's got great scenery out here. So Yeah um, Then there's her wife. So this is Colette um, Colette has the cheerful ambitious and loner traits and then the aspiration so technically if you actually start changing the aspiration um, it'll give your sim 
like the trait sometimes not always and I, I don't know I don't really pay much attention to it but I gave her the freelance botanist because we have so even though Marilia supposedly got her scars from gardening um, we do have a couple gardening patches out back um, Marilia just doesn't do anything outside she's like I'm not getting nope she keeps the twins inside and like away from the chickens and the plants and Colette handles that stuff and that's just how it works so yeah um i'm trying to colette has to pee so trying to get her to make like a neutral face there you go she's smiling for you there there you go there's colette okay um and i got colette from why are you not connected um vanilla sugar sims i use her like her uh sims all the time um, it's one of her older sims. This one. So I would have net left Melina, but I felt it was too similar to Marilia, so that's why I renamed her. And I also gave her a different hair, and I took off the hat because I don't really like giving my sims hats. Um, so I gave I got rid of her hat, and I um gave her her I changed her shorts, and her shoes didn't match. So I gave her different shoes. Um, but I gave her the werewolf pack, um, hair, like one of those, and yeah, that's really about it. So then we have the twins, so, um, this is Azariah, that's a, I thought it was really pretty, but again, it's one of those names that, like, as you say it, you're like, is that really what I chose? <laughs> like, if your name is Azariah, I think it's gorgeous, but at the same time, I'm like, I feel ridiculous saying it out loud. Um, she's inquisitive. And then this is her sister, Athena, who is independent. And again, they're toddlers, so their traits mean absolutely nothing to them. Um, and then this is our, he's supposed to be a Great Dane, but because, um, your big dogs can only be one height and your little dogs can only be one height, um, he doesn't, he looks more like a bloodhound, um, with, like, Labrador ears. But this is Flash. Um, I tried adopting a cat, uh... <laughs> Colette met, oh, and they went away. Colette met, like, all of these kittens, and, ow, those are my toes, Barnes, those are my toes, come here, oh my goodness. When I brought Barnes home yesterday, she did not want to be, like, picked up or, like, held at all, and now that's, like, all she wants. Um, <laughs> but I was gonna try, I tried adopting a kitten, and it wouldn't, like, I got maybe two hours into the adoption, and all of a sudden the kittens just up and left and the um adoption lady left with them hey you can't have that no no well hey no no what'd you do with that chew stick you just had a chew stick girls oh my goodness full puppy you're full puppy full puppy i'm sorry um <laughs> But, like, the lady just up and left. I'm like, I've had adoption events where, like, the... I can't get the people to leave. And then this time she just up and left. And I'm like, what are you doing? You're ta you took my kittens with you. Because there were two kittens I was trying to decide between. Because one of them didn't like me. Anyways, I was going to have a cat, too. But that didn't end up working out. And then I have... I do have chickens. Um, I haven't named them. I have two hens, one chick, and then one rooster. Um, I started with just one rooster and one hen, and they had chickens. Also, this house is also something I can show you. So, this is the house. The Countryside Family Home by Jessica Pye YT. So, Jessica Pye actually has a YouTube channel. Um, I am subscribed to it, but the thing is, I don't actually watch the speed builds. Um, and it's not that I don't want to. It's just one of those things that, like, that I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to use that house, and I want to use that house. And I kind of prefer to more just kind of, like, find them here and there instead of just go through and be like, oh, I want that house and that house and that house all from, like, I like that all of these are from different people. I'm not using the same, like, I was using all of, like, little Simsy's houses. And then, like, I started, um, this one was, what was this? This was, like, maybe the last current household or the household before. So, C is Stormy 13. And then this one was, like, Shawnee Simmer, Shimmer and like they're all from like Sims O'Malley like they're from different people which I kind of like 
<clears throat> so I don't know if what I just like was talking about made any sense. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the family tree really quick. Because Marilia has quite the family. So, um, Brock, not Brock, oh my god, his name is Brody. Brody has passed away. Um, Marilia is actually sad because of it, but she's apparently more flirty than sad. Um, so, out of her siblings, only two of them have had kids. Um, Eason had a daughter named Hazel, and then Lawson had a daughter named Tess. Um, and the others... I could have sworn one of them was, I could have, I think it was Eris. I could have sworn Eris was pregnant. So either she just hasn't had the baby yet or I was wrong. Um, all of them have partners though. Um, but I don't know if, it's, yeah, it's not going to show up because I don't think any of them are actually married to their partners. Um, sometimes when I get, what are you doing? Come here. Come here, no, no. No, no, no. Um, sometimes when I start to get like kind of bored, <laughs> like I've been playing with these Sims for a while, I'm kind of over it. I want to like move on to the next generation. I want to start fresh again. Um, I start to like skip through. I don't put as much like sometimes I will like fully marry um, my Sims. It's like I would all actually like marry their siblings off and make sure that those siblings get pregnant. And this time I just kind of okay, you have a partner, move to like kick you out, go live with them. Goodbye. <laughs> and that's just kind of how it was. So, oh, there's an ambulance outside. Um, or passing by. But, okay. I'm kind of all over the place. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm really tired. And I'm hoping this video will get up on time. Uh, we will see. So, I'm just going to end it here, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have my gaming channel and my Twitter both linked down in the description below. If you guys like to go check that out, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.